welcome to the Monday Night Breakout. My name is in May 8717836, but you can call me Mysterious Mr. Ryan. And ladies and gentlemen, I have been caught, sent to prison, and this is The Escapists. So, ladies and gentlemen, to give you a bit of a rundown of the last 24 hours, um, I didn't upload a video this weekend, and apparently people were annoyed about that, and I have ended up in this prison for some reason. So, yeah... Not entirely happy about that, ladies and gentlemen. My plan is to break out as quick as I can. And if these bars can't hold me, they'll have to find some that will. And no doubt they will. So, this is, for those of you who are not aware, this is The Escapist. And welcome to day one. Uh, this is the morning roll call. And anyone with these green exclamation marks above them uh, means they've got jobs for me. So let's find out what, uh, what Gavin wants. Uh, I plan to teach someone a lesson during the next evening meal. Get the guard's attention so I can do my thing. Okay. So when we accept this, these go into our little journal to pick up later. And anyone with a yellow, what looks like a money bag above them, is essentially a shop. Or they, they have items for sale. So let's start off and let's go straight to breakfast. And... Let's pick up some stuff and sit down. So I've played this game probably for about 10-15 minutes. So I've got a good understanding of the controls, but I still may make odd mistakes and stuff. And I've got little referral documents open at the side as well, just to give me a bit of help. So let's find out what Gavin wants, because Gavin had another task for me. Uh, I need a sponge. Can you hook me up with one? Yes, I can, Gavin. I am your sponge man. So, uh, who have we got? Irvin, you are selling. What are you selling? You have two lots of timber, a crafting note, and a crowbar. But I only have 10 cash, so I might need to work before I can afford some of this stuff. And what about you, Matthew? You have got uh, super glue. That's good. Two bars of chocolates and a flashlight. Right then, that's pretty much most of this morning covers. So this is now free time. So I need to find a sponge is basically what I need to find. Not really sure where I'm going to get that from, but let's give it a go. So let's let these people walk by and we'll start raiding cells. I found out that the police are not too happy if you start searching through other people's cells. So yeah, found out that's something to do. Um, You'll see me collect items while I'm on around. This is my desk. You'll see me collect items while I'm around. Um, I've got an idea of how I want to escape from this, and it requires a certain collection of items, so we're going to have to kind of see um, see how I get on. But I have an idea, and I'm going to kind of roll with it. But uh, yeah, oh, he's going to be annoyed. As you can see, my heat goes up for being caught in the cell, so I have to learn to avoid that. Ah, sheet of metal. That's good pack of mints, toilet roll. As you can see, I've got a bit of a toilet roll thing, um, and that is only because I can make paper mache out of it uh, with some super glue. So I try and get it any opportunity I get, because I'm going to need to make some fake grates, and I think it's paper mache that does that. So hopefully I'm right, but we shall see. It's early days yet. Now, I did stand on the desk and notice something, so I'm going to go into this one and stand on my desk a bit out of the way and see what I can see. Um, okay, nothing exciting there. So, right, let's put some of this stuff away. I'm going to have to be careful about keeping the sheets of metal. Anything with a red label on it? Ooh, ooh, okay, that's good. Um, that's, oh, get off before the policeman notices me. That was a prisoner's stash, so that's going to be worth taking a look at. Um, okay, that's, I think that could be our breakout attempt here is to go through the vents, but, uh, that's the idea at least, so... I'm going to pick up items as I go, things that I think I might need a bit later on, because odds are there'll be someone who will ask for it. Um, comb. I'm going to grab a DVD. I better grab the shaving foam just in case. The thing is, the way I'm seeing this is if I have this stuff in my drawer, if and when I need it, I've got it. So, yeah. Just quickly use this time while they're off to lunch to grab the last bit. I found out that if you're not where you're supposed to be, they notice and get the police get a little peed off, so I try and be a little careful. Uh, Gavin and his pals jumped me and took my bottle of medicine. Get it back and I'll give you a reward. Okay, maybe. Um, I found out that if you select no, the quest simply disappears. If you put a maybe, you can get it back. So, um, okay, there's a fight in here. Right, someone's down. Let's see what he's got. I've just picked him up. Uh, right, so he has a sock mace. That's a pretty good weapon. He has a glass shard and a pack of playing cards. So I've got the glass shard and I'm not being chased, which is good. Grab the attention of the guards at next breakfast. Yep, yeah, and I think that's the same guy who wants me to beat. Uh, get the bottle of medicine. Okay. 
right so this is lunchtime so it's, okay it's laundry so now it's time for my job and yeah, I do this to get some money but the first thing I have found from this is if you walk through there's metal detectors I'll show you at the opening if you walk through them with any form of contraband so any red item they go off and immediately give you 100% heat now there are ways to get around this but it requires a building of items and it's just easier not to worry at this stage so as you can see here get all the dirty laundry out put it in the washing machines wait for them to be done so it's 10 items of clothing here to complete the job quota and then once I've completed the job quota I'm free to go um, and this gives me money at the end of my shift so totally worthwhile doing right so one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, as you can see, there are inmates' items, and you can get the occasional police wardens' uh, um, outfits as well. But the thing I found is because they're contraband, they're a nightmare to go anywhere with. Because the minute you walk through these doors carrying contraband, they go to a hundred percent max, and they generally get pretty uh, annoyed with that. So, I don't think that's gonna be the way we're gonna escape from this one I think it's not worth the hassle but you never know so overnight all the uh, deaths all refresh except your own your own one stays the same so what my plan really is is to sort of just have a pretty of a chill day completing some tasks seeing what people want I'm gonna put a no down for this now seeing what people want and trying to sort of fulfill these goals a little bit um, because that way I think it's going to be sort of less hassle. So I've got 50, 50 pounds for hitting my quota, which is good. Um, that moron block my cell transfer request, drop a beat down for him. So that requires me to beat someone up. I'm going to go with no because I'm not actually a violent person. But um, if it comes to it, I'm sure I can. Uh, let's quickly raid him and see what he's got. Nothing for sale. That was not meant to, meant to happen. Postcard, cook food, and inmates outfits. And in here, he's got a trowel, a TV remote, and a bottle of sleeping pills. So I'm going to get them because you never know when I might need them. Problem is, with the sleeping pills, is they're contraband. They take up a slot in my inventory because what happens is overnight they do a little shakedown of everyone's cells, and I don't really want to be too involved in that. Exercise period. My worst thing. Now this is gym exercise, so I've got two choices. I can either do um, weight training, which I'm going to do, or speed training. And the way you do this is just keep spamming Q and E. All the way up. And the idea is, as you can see, your fatigue, which is the lightning bolt, goes up every time you do this. But I think the plan is just to take a nice steady, steady time for the time being. Apparently he's got this, not really sure, not even trying there, he's got this and you're not even trying, so I'm going to see what these people have, oh, oh Dan, there's a fight. Just when I get off to come and have a chat with someone, a fight breaks out. Uh, if you can divert the guard's attention next exercise period, okay, yes, oh that's annoying. Right, so let's see what these have got, so nothing, let's pick him up and put him down over here. Uh, toothbrush, tub of talcum powder, plastic knife, nothing. So let's just go in here and have a quite nice shower. So task, what's my task? Distract exercise, breakfast, locate the sponge, evening meal. So it's going to be the evening meal next, I think, is the next in the agenda. And yeah, what's that rash you've got there? That's a bit personal, don't you think? Okay, it wasn't talking to me. Drains clogged. So the drains clogged and that caused the rash and now you wanted to pass you the soap. That's a lot of stuff here. Um, Gavin, honestly, I don't trust you. But, uh, ah, now I have some money. Let's see what these people have got. So he's got a hammer, sheets of metal, flashlight, and a magazine. So the hammer might be useful, but uh, I'll see what this guy's got as well. He has rope. Ah, file. That is useful. I'm going to take the file. Only because I, uh, I can make some tools with this. And yeah, it's the evening meal. So the evening meal is going to be a bit of a violent one. The idea is I'm going to wait for everyone to get in, then hit someone and run. Because what I'm going to find is the police are not going to be too happy with this. As you can see, I'm being chased by Jacob, who's not best pleased that I just punched him one. And Officer Someone, um, I can't stop long enough to find out his name, is also not too happy that I've punched someone. So as you can see, I've got 11% heat, but this will drop... Um, well, it should drop if I hadn't been spotted there. 
so I'm just going to come into here and just have a nice time so Ricky uh, grab the girls attention next evening meal for me okay okay next evening meal okay we're now on evenings free time so uh, he's got deluxe toilet roll, teddy bear, ah oh, teddy bear isn't that nice, and a razor blade, nothing there I really want. So it's evening free time and let's see what Shane wants. Shane, 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 stand still when I'm clicking you, damn I pressed the wrong button. Um, as you can see it's a nightmare to click these at times and unfortunately it looks like that came back to bite me in the uh, backside. Okay, right where are we at then? So, am I in a position to, I need to distract exercise period, breakfast, and a sponge for Gavin. Um, I haven't got a sponge. I am missing some super glue. Super glue is what I need for the paper mache, so let's see if there's any in any of these chests. I'm probably going to call them chests quite a lot. I do mean desks, so apologies in advance. Um, pack of mints. I've searched all these, so I know they're not there. Ooh, ooh. What about you, Irvin? Irvin, Irvin, Irvin. Uh, hammer. He's got the sheets of metal. Now, I've got a sheet of metal. I am in the market for some duct tape, and that way I can get some armor. Because I have the sheet of metal, but I lack the duct tape. So I'm going to pick up all the contraband, because if I'm carrying it, it means that when they do the shakedown in the evening, I'm not going to get found with it. And I'm also going to steal all the bedclothes here as well. Let's pop that in here. Keep picking up the desk. What's he got? What's he got? What's he got? Uh, DVD, nothing. Nothing worth worrying about. So let's go into here. Put that down, grab the pillow. Now, uh, crafting. Nothing happens. Oh, it, I think I got that wrong. Is it? Yeah, I think I remember what it is now. I hope that was going to be... It must be two pillows and the bed sheet make it. Okay, let's find out then. So now I've got two pillows. Uh, where's the second pillow? Crafting. You need four more intelligence to craft that. Okay, so let's go get some intelligence then. If there's only four, it shouldn't be too hard. Browsing. One, two, three, four. Got it, got the bed dummy. Okay, so that's going to be a good stand in, in the evenings. Uh, I need to grab all this contraband quickly. Uh, what else is contraband here? Nothing, I think I'm carrying it all now. That's good. So, we need to find out who's going to be down for the shakedown. Chris and his pals, escorted deluxe. Thing is, I want it back. How about it? So, they want deluxe toilet roll. I'm going to go with no because it's not just any deluxe toilet roll. They actually want me to fight someone to get it. So, um, drop a beat down. No. I want to avoid the beat downs. They're okay money, but they're usually more trouble than they're worth. Ah, he's not, he wants a bottle of sleeping pills. Well, I already have them, so he can have them. Because that was some easy money there. Um, lovely stew, Jacob, and yeah. Okay, so not going to get my cell searched, which is a good start to the evening. Now, they're upgrading their cable TV package, and you're all due a pat on the back. Ah, oh, I feel better now. See, I was getting worried, and he'd like to commend me as well. Probably for my good behaviour. <coughs> Clearly he doesn't know me. Right then, and that is lights out on day one. So... Today's been a good start today. I've got to start for some items and some start for materials. But uh, yeah, so this has been the Escapist Day 1 of the Monday Night Breakout. If you have liked what you've seen here, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It means a lot to me if you do. And don't forget to stay tuned for next week. But ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mysterious Mr. Ryan and I'm out and I'll see you next time. Take care.